So how do you go live without actually being live? Um, this is a strategy that I call the construct strategy. The name is uh, based off one of the scenes in the matrix where Morpheus says, this is the construct. And it's actually, it's real, but it's not actually real. So I kind of use that and um, I'd love to show you how you can use the construct strategy to go live without actually being live. Okay, the first thing that you're going to need is um, your broadcaster. Now I use OBS, which is open broadcaster software. It's absolutely free. And um, I've only had one tech glitch since I started using it. And um, other than that, <laughs> it's been fine. So I'm actually gonna share with you based on a recent presentation that I did. This was um, a, a full you know, sales funnel presentation and I didn't actually want to be live. I just wanted to share um, my slides and I wanted to be able to open for Q&A. And so I had, you know, I also had a, um, a little video that I wanted to show as well. Okay, so let me show you how this is done. First thing that I do is I always have a starting soon image. And that's simply because otherwise you'll have the webcam that shows right away. So I just create an image. You can create one that says starting soon. You can um, maybe even download like a countdown and put a countdown on there. Um, I don't think that's 100% necessary because I really just have it up for the split second that it takes for me to hit start streaming for the delay so that Facebook acknowledges that I'm streaming and then so I can go to my pre-recorded video. Okay. So in order to do this, what you're going to do is you're just going to create a pre-recorded video. And um, I just took, uh, you know, I've got plenty of videos. So I just took a video that I did. Um, let's just assume that this was the video that I wanted to create. So let's say I did a five minute video and, you know, it was all nice and pre-recorded and it's got, you know, the video of me uh, chatting and all of that. And so this is already done. As you can see, it's it's produced. It has text and and overlays and things like that okay what you do is you simply go into OBS and you create a new scene okay I'll just go ahead and start from scratch so I'll just say you know you can call the scene whatever you want to do and a scene is basically like a new window that you're sharing okay so it's a new view okay and then it's gonna say well what do you want to put in this scene so you choose a source okay in here, you're going to choose um, video, media source, okay? So you wanna choose a media source and you can call it whatever you want. So, pre-recorded video. And it's gonna ask you for the local file. So you just hit browse and then um, you go to wherever, wherever your file is. So let's see, I'll go back to videos and completed videos, okay? Then you can choose to either loop the video so it'll run over and over again, or usually what I do is I wanna make sure it starts from the beginning once I click it, so I have this checked, and then once it finishes playing, I don't want it to start over again, I just wanna hide it, okay? So I just hit okay. All right, and as you can notice, the red line out here is like it's not showing the entire thing. So all I do is just right click, go to transform and fit to screen. And as long as the video is the same size as the screen, which should be, you know, video dimensions, it will fit without having any overlap. Okay. So then I can go back to my starting soon and you can see the mic is on and I'll say, Hey guys, we're starting soon. We're going to get started in just a second. Then as soon as we're ready, I'll say, let's get started. And then you want to make sure that you click here to mute your own mic just in case you start chatting and you know you don't want the sound to come in or they'll be like, well, what's going on? And you'll see that the sound for the pre-recorded video is playing. And then when you go back to your other option, be sure to unclick um, and turn the mic back on. Otherwise, they won't be able to see it. Okay, so you always want to make sure there's a green bar there. Okay. Um, so that's exactly how you do that. Now, in order to get your um, stream key, just watch the other tutorial, which will show you how to set up OBS for Facebook Live.